A new series is announced for mid-July, and that is Those About to Die. What made me immediately click to watch this trailer? The figure of Anthony Hopkins dominating the movie poster. Yes, he is one of my favorite actors. I love his movies. I love his personality, and he has a great voice, too. And you know which movie made me fall in love with him at first? I dare you to take a guess. In fact, pause this video, make a guess, and write it in the comments before continuing. The movie which made me fall in love with Anthony Hopkins is Shadowlands. And I will have to tell you all about it someday. But back to those about to die. First of all, it's a miniseries, and we are told that on July 18, Peacock will release all 10 episodes. So if you like Hopkins and the history of the Roman Empire, make sure you're planning nothing else but this movie for that weekend. Hopkins plays Vespasian, who was the last Roman emperor to reign in the year of the four emperors. He ruled for 10 years from 69 to 79. And yes, he is also the one who besieged Jerusalem as a general in 66. I have to say, though, that Vespasian is remembered by Flavius Josephus as a fair and humane official, as opposed to Her the notorious Herod Agrippa II, whom Josephus goes to great lengths to demonize. History tells us that Vespasian wasn't murdered, neither did he die on the battlefield, but instead he got sick and died saying, Dear me, I think I'm becoming a god. Those Roman emperors. So I'm curious to see which part of his life this series will cover. Well, okay, the movie is not about Vespasian, right? The trailer starts with Hopkins' voice saying, The telling of history is but a history of war. Have we seen similar movies before? Oh, plenty! The first which comes to mind is Gladiator, featuring Russell Crowe, another favorite actor of mine. Looking at the characters present in the trailer, I see not only soldiers and gladiators, but nobles as well. Hopkins' short discourse ends with, But there are those about to rise, and those about to die. And there we have the movie title, right? So I expect another series featuring complicated connections and complex relationships, both in the upper and lower classes. Relationships which must surely develop in rather unexpected ways. I expect the ending of every episode to leave us hanging, craving for the next one, of course. I expect excellent dialogues and possibly new perspectives into the Roman culture and traditions of the time. And I expect Anthony Hopkins' Vespasian to dominate the movie or at least dominate every scene in which he's present. Of course, there has to be a lot of fighting and bloodshed, that goes without saying, which I don't watch movies for that, but that's just me. The trailer doesn't give anything away about the characters, nothing whatsoever. But it doesn't have to really, simply because it's a historical movie and this trailer tells us that the movie is about that time, not about that figure or that character. Now let's play our little prediction game. Will this movie be balanced in presenting the intrigues of the lower class and the nobles, or will it lean more heavily towards one or the other class? My prediction, judging from the trailer, which again doesn't say much, is that it will probably focus more on the upper class intrigues. I know I might be dead wrong, but that's the vibe this trailer gave me. Let me know your thoughts and expectations in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and that's Amy's cut on this trailer.